What comes to your mind when you hear the words aluminium producing plant? I recently visited an ABG plant and all my notions of what a metal plant would look like came crashing down. At Hindalco, ABG is implementing new age methods like AI and machine learning in their metal production processes. And managers like Ayushi are taking the help. Let's see how they are doing it. All right, so we are here at uh, an iconic plant. We are at uh, Hirakud for the Hindalco factory and we are going to speak to a mechanical engineer who has been with these machines and learned a lot in her journey and how a digital transformation in her journey is also happening is what we are going to discuss in this particular video. If you are a mechanical engineer or engineer uh, in general, this is going to help you learn a lot. So let's get going. So as mentioned, I have uh, Ayushi with me who is going to show us this particular plant and tell us more about her journey and what she does here. Thank you very much Ayushi for joining us in. Uh, tell me a little bit about this particular place, where are we standing right now and what is the historical importance of this particular plant? So Paul, we are standing right in Hirakut smelter. So we have in our plant the cast house plant, then the pot room is there. We have rectifier station behind this building. We have rotting plant just outside the premises of here. We have uh, achieved great milestones in terms of production, efficiency, you can name it, whatever KPIs we look right. after. Well, let's talk a little bit about your history. Why did you choose to become an engineer? When was this decision taken in your life? So for female students, it's quite hard to choose engineering background. It's a very tough decision for us because we are constantly told to choose medical or to choose BSc and all. And uh, when I got to know that uh, ABG is coming to uh, hire us, I was quite excited because from childhood we have heard about the Birla group, you yeah. know. And uh, it's, it has got diversified, uh, you know, uh, background. It uh, excels in metals, textiles, chemicals and telecommunication, you name it. So yeah, it was like an easy choice that I will be going to this ELP program. When was that that you got to know about the ELP program? And for our audience who are listening to this, how well structured this program is so that a person like you who is uh, you know right out uh, of their college get to know more about how things work at a plant how things work for an engineer per se so the elp program if i say it's design in which we go to several units of our uh, indalco plants it can be refinery it can be your smelter it can be your downstream plants it's divided in three phases phase one is basically to look around to get the uh, to know about the safety which we follow in the plant to know about the process then phase two is more about uh, uh, traveling from one plant to another to actual experience it right right and the third phase in which we are situated in a particular uh, plant and we are given a project to work on so that we can develop uh, uh, networking and we can have effective communication right. team building skills right. And uh, when we're talking about your work, you have spent two years working in this particular plant you were mentioning and uh, you know there were different parts of the plant as to what gets made here. We will try and explore that a little bit in this particular video and see which are the areas where you have worked on and how this particular factory produces the produce that comes out of here. So for that, I would request you to take me to those places and we can explore it. Let's go. Alright, so from a place which was pretty quiet, we are in a place which is very noisy and probably this is the reality of a lot of plants. Where are we standing right now, Ajit? So Paul, right now we are in a pot room and uh, talking about the process, what actually happens inside a pot, it's basically electrolysis process which is responsible for actual metal manufacturing. In the project that you were assigned, something that happened that made you feel like you know I belong here I've achieved something in life so right in uh, right from the ELP part only I was assigned a project of reducing the turnaround time of these pots so what happens 
these pots uh, usually have to shut it down after every three to four years because the cathode layer erodes. All this overall process requires, I think, uh, eight to ten days. Uh, it was earlier taking eight to ten days. This was a quite high time because for that time there is no metal manufacturing in the that world. So I was assigned a project to do the analysis of each activity and how we can optimize the time limit, how we can do the parallel work, how we can manage these the manpower and uh, the shift so that uh, the turnaround time can be reduced. So in that project, I was given the ownership and I was able to guide people he we can do in that way. So that was a proud moment for me. And also I was involved in those digital projects of conversion of EPC into PLC, in which we can, uh, EPC is something in which we can not do any logic control. So in, we were uh, trying to convert it into PLC pot logic controller in which we can uh, give our own ports so that pot operates according to the commands which we give. So that was also a major project which I have worked on and uh, currently there is a project going on which we call a data management platform in which we are responsible for uh, putting all the data together into a data lake and that is used for uh, uh, later on some machine learning and AI models. Okay, Anshi, we will talk about your uh, recent role a little bit. We will talk about the digital aspects that you are looking up to. And uh, a lot of what you have said uh, made me think that a lot of this might also go into the digital lake, as you mentioned. Uh, and we will get to know more about how that is exactly going to be the future of a plant like this. But before that, uh, there is still light around. There is still time in our hands and we can explore this uh, particular plant and know more about this area. All right, uh, Ayushi, from a very, very noisy place uh, in the pot room to a digital experience room now that we were talking about uh, while we were coming here. Tell me what exactly happens in this place. Right now, Paul, we are in Hirakuch Digital Experience Center which has all kinds of experiences of uh, uh, digital project related. We have ash management system, we have coal uh, supply chain system and uh, we, we can track our vehicles where they are going with the GPS system. We have drone system also which is used to um, calculate the total coal consumption through uh, drone cameras. So all these kinds of things should be in a designated place where everyone is reachable, right? So that's, that was the idea behind this digital experience center. We have uh, some AR, VR models also uh, because we are moving up to the plant of the future era. So that is why this is something that is looking different from the plant. I see people who are listening to this particular uh, interview, the story that we have made for you. What are the kind of skills that you think at this point in time they need to acquire in themselves so that they become ready to be part of a plant like this? Few skills which I would uh, mention, which I learned in this role was uh, collaboration and working in team, of course. Second was uh, to be more adaptive, like you have to be adaptive in nature. And uh, third uh, was something like there is a concept known as learning from failures which usually people avoid in digitalization we do a lot of experimentation and experiment fails of course so what i learned from here is uh, every failure makes me closer to my success and uh, this is what i would like to tell everyone right and one last piece of advice for people like you people like uh, more Ayushis who are listening to you or are watching you right now probably thinking whether they fit into a system like this or not or whether they should go and dare as you did in your life to take up mechanical engineering and build a life for yourself. So just uh, advice that I would like to give is never stop learning. Wherever you go, keep your mind open, grasp thing around you, look for a solution to anything you see around you. How can you make it better? and uh, just believe in yourself. Great, lovely. Thank you very much uh, Ayushi for giving us this guided tour, telling us what exactly your life of a mechanical engineer after uh, graduation looks like. 
and uh, if you want to know more about uh, Aisha's life and you have any questions that you want to ask her uh, do check out the link that is in the description be part of the conversations cafe elp where uh, you can meet ayushi once again and she will be uh, answering some of your questions that you have during that session and do tell us how you like this particular episode and if you learned something about this iconic plant that we are sitting in thank you very much ayushi and i hope that uh, you you actually get to the dreams that you have seen for yourself and make it big